Tänk på avståndet mellan varmt och plattform när du stiger av. Hello everyone, welcome to a new video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Another day, another walk, you know it. And yes folks, today we are in Bromma. To be exact, in Engby. At the Engby Plan metro station which is located on the green line in Stockholm here um, towards the west. So it is a western suburb in Bromma. <coughs> and um, yeah, I've never been here before, so um, should be fun. This walk was recommended to me by a viewer. <coughs> so yeah. Should be good. It looked nice on the map anyway, I had a quick look. Oh, I like the... The subway art. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's nice. Very symmetric here. All right, what do we got here? I don't actually think I should go this way, but have a quick look at, um, there's some shops here, bakery. So this area is, um, let's have a look at the metro. Yeah, so this area is, is divided in uh, Södra Engby and Norra Engby. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that side is Norra Engby. But we should have a look, um, Södra I think. But anyway, I think I should go the other way towards I think it's called Bromma Kyrka. I just wanted to have a quick look what's here. Ostrits, what's that? Like a bar, a restaurant? Yeah, restaurant. A cafe. Oh yes, Engby Sushi and Thai. It's the two of the best worlds in one. <laughs> Är vattnet ditt åt? Tack så mycket. Yeah, so the water is that way, which means I'm going in the wrong direction. Lovely. Maybe I can walk around the block here. Anyway, when you have a walking channel, there's no wrong direction. Only different directions. So as you can see, this is the villa neighborhood. Um, it is a so-called part of a Tregorts Staden here in um, Bromma, which is a massive residential area um, with a lot of nature, a lot of parks, and a lot of cool houses. Oh, a deer, deer, look, 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 look. Oh my god, this is so cool. You see them? And another one, another one. Oh my god, I can't believe it's the first time I'm getting them on camera. 
as I said, there's no, let me talk really quiet, wait. There's no such thing as wrong directions. Oh, there they go. Oh yes, I still see them, they're walking up there. Ah, uh, yes. I've been hoping to see deers on my channel for a long time. It took more than 300 walks to do it, but <coughs> I made it. Oh wait, I've got something st <laughs> stuck in my throat here. <coughs> ah, sorry about that. <laughs> that was cool. Finally, I got them on camera. I've seen them many times when like dropping the kids off at school, things like that. But never in a walk. Ooh, it's very steep to park your car like that. Oh, this is such a great neighborhood. Look at these houses here. Ah, perfect. I got them on camera. We had quite a bit of snow, as you can see. And it's really cold today. I would say it's like minus five, minus six. But I'm better prepared than yesterday, both mentally and I have more clothes on me today, so it's all good. So the word of the day is of course those little deers. I don't even know it's deers in English. These really small ones. Um, but in Swedish I call them zorjur, which is obviously the word of the day, zorjur. So there's different, you know, words for the different types of animals. There's jut, rien, elk, but those are all much harder to find. These small ones are the most common ones and you see everywhere. Such a nice neighborhood, love it. Great suggestion by this viewer of mine. I can't remember who suggested it, but maybe it was Stuart, can't remember, maybe. The houses look all a bit similar here. See, they all have the same white color. Oh, and there the sun is coming as well. So yeah, I'm still confused if I'm in Norra or Södra Engby, <laughs> but it doesn't matter, it's still Engby. So this is Hasselby, no, Hasselbergsvägen, Roslinsvägen. Yeah, let's go this way.
yeah, if you live in an area with a lot of those royal, um and you have things as berries and things in your garden, well, they eat everything. <laughs> so it's not only fun and games with these. If you grow vegetables and things like that, then uh, yeah, there's a big chance they eat from it. I guess that's why they go through gardens as well, to look for food. <sighs> It's a beautiful day because the clouds are going away now. Turning out really nice. It's a very, very light snow going on. I don't think it's almost noticeable on video, but it is snowing a tiny bit. Oh, this is really one of those walks where I'm thinking, oh, it's all, it's all worth it. It's all, it's all a lot of fun. You know, this channel cost me a lot of energy. I'm not gonna lie, uploading everyday single videos, a lot of work, but yeah, on days like this, well, it's snowing a little bit, it's a beautiful day, discovering a new neighborhood, and I'm filming deers in my video, yeah, that makes me feel really good. Houses are quite big because there's like three floors. And it's quite Swedish in a way because they're like square boxes. Most Swedish houses have like pointy uh, roofs. It's a very sleepy morning here, not much happening, just how I like it. Får jag fråga något dumt? Är det här norra eller södra Engby? Nej, södra. Södra, södra. södra. tack. Och hur går man till norra? Um, du kan gå ner så kommer du till Islandsorg, efter så det ligger. Nej, men det, men det är ditåt i alla fall. Ja, du kan gå ner så kommer en trapp här, ah. så kommer du till Sopration och så är det liksom ett fort. Okej. Och så tar du bara rakt över. Så hela bak över den här stora vägen ser du Okej, okay, tack så mycket. Yes, so I basically asked her, am I at Södra or Norra Engby? And she was like, you're on Södra, but you're on the way to Norra. Well, that's not exactly what she said. <laughs> So she basically said, you're walking to Island store yet now. That's nice. That was nice of her to explain like that. So then the question is, Daniel, would you live here? Oh yes, most definitely. I would move here tomorrow. Because you don't even, it's like a quiet neighborhood, but it's still straight next to the metro. Yes, I got it. So now we're on Söderängby and on the other side of the road 
there is not at Engby. So the question is, can I go down here? Is that a good idea? Um, probably not. Let's just walk the regular road here. Ah, oh, she said go down the stairs, so it's up there. Well, I have the feeling it's gonna be a long walk again today. Oh yes, she said walk to Soup Stagoon. The recycling station is up there. Let's hope my battery cope copes on my phone because um yeah minus degrees means shitty battery time i think i'll probably buy a new phone in the summer anyway mm. um, one that has better low light quality because this i've had for a few years the Samsung S10 and now next week they're releasing the S22 which probably means the S21 goes down in price so let's see let's see what happens Still close to the metro, that's good. It's a bit slippery, so I have to be careful here. Is it here? I can go. As you can see it's ice everywhere. Gotta stay focused. Aha, uh -huh, okay. See some buses here. Ah, uh, cool. I think I made it to East Lanstoyet. I accidentally walked to the next metro station. That's again. I know I keep repeating myself. This is not how I planned it at all. I literally walked into the wrong direction straight from the subway. But if I would have not done, if I would have done that, I wouldn't have seen the deers. So happy days. Let's go. Alrighty. Yeah. So now we're at the metro here. At East Lost Tour yet? Hey. Perfect. And there is Nora Angby. It probably looks exactly the same as Sardar Angby, but we're still gonna have a look. Hey, pizzeria! Islam story is pizzeria. And I have a massive flashback to about 10 or 15 years ago well, can be 15 because then I moved to Sweden 10 years ago I've been to this pizzeria once I don't know how and why and with who but I have been here
Alrighty, so let's check out where we are. Alright, so this could work out pretty good. Because Engby Plan is 900 meters that way. So if I cross the street, go in there, go there to the right, I should be able to find the back. Well, that's the plan. I don't know if that's going to work, but... Alrighty, now we're not at Engby. Oh yeah! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> All right, let's go in here. Same thing here, looking absolutely beautiful. Nice guy. So yeah, for those map people, I know you're there. We are Miklagurtsvägen. No, Very nice, it gives me a little bit of a feeling of Gamla Engheerde. But in general the whole, not the whole of Bromma, but the most of Bromma looks really wonderful. I don't think I have time today all the way to walk all the way to Bromma Schirka. I'll do that in a separate walk, because that's kind of behind here uh, on that side. But yeah, then the video gets way too long if I do that. So I go back to Angry Plan Station and um, yeah. Oh, wonderful. I'm happy the snow uh, came back because it gets so much better light. Like snow reflects the sun, which makes everything more bright. It's like someone in video editing just turned on the <laughs> the brightness a little bit. It's really funny. So I hear the subway over there, so...
Frieslandswegen. It's nice here, all the houses have different colors. You know, as I said on the other side, on Sodra, there all the houses were more of a, like a white, off-white kind of uh, color. But here it's more colorful. You know, that's what I try to do on my channel. Show you as many different sides of Stockholm as I can. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job, if I may say so. And every time people asking me, Daniel, why are you not going to the hood? Why are you not going to Rinkeby and Tensta? Well, the reason for that is not because I'm afraid it's all nonsense. It is because I'm looking for someone from one of these places to give me a tour. Zinkibi and Tensta I can only do once and I wouldn't do them properly. And because I don't know this area, if I just walk around there at the 10 o'clock in the morning, I don't think I will capture the vibe of the place like i've been there many times it's just as place as anyone so i would love to have someone from that area that can tell me what this place is really about you know what i'm saying so so if if, if i just go there and walk it's not going to be good it's going to be boring and because these places are like the most notorious places in sweden so in other words are you from Tensta or Rinkeby? Or do you know someone from Tensta or Rinkeby? Let me know. Maybe someone wants to give me a tour. It will be fun if I can get someone from... with a background from Somalia or... I don't know. Some... someone with an immigrant background to show me around in their hood. You know what I mean? So that will be fun, that's the idea and that's the reason why I haven't done it yet because I'm looking for the right person to guide me around. So, if anyone can help me with that, it would be awesome. <sighs> Looks pretty crazy by the way sun at the background and the snowflakes I don't know if it shows on camera but it looks uh, quite spectacular here from my point of view Can you go to Engby plants, huh? Yes Oh Just Yes Thank you If you want to read Perfect. Yes, Thank you. But here they're probably building some new houses, I'm not sure. But just in general, like I am looking for people that can give me some stories. Because I really think that's the next level in my channel. Like me walking around in Stockholm is cool. But I think there's more. Because I've been focusing on the where on my channel for like, you know, the most of the year now. But I want to go one level deeper and really go in behind the meaning of some places. You know, really capture the spirit 
Uh, of some yeah just just give a little bit more of the why and the how and the who like who lives there why do you live there did you grow up here give me some good stories you know so i want to invite more guests to my channel but it's really hard to find people that are willing to speak in english in front of a camera it doesn't even have to be in front of the camera it can be behind the camera i don't have to show their face but not everyone is comfortable in, in speaking about their neighborhood or their side of town or when they grew up and fun funny stories it's not that easy but we'll get there because the bigger my channel gets the more interesting it becomes for certain people to do their story and the reason I, um, hey, hey. Um, the reason I came to this conclusion that I wanted to do is, is because I was watching the other day on YouTube a channel called Hood Vlogs, and Hood Vlogs is a YouTube channel that goes to the most notorious neighborhoods in the U.S. I think it's a Russian guy, and he goes and talks to. I don't know, gang members, um, people that have a lot to tell. And those people are very willing to tell about their neighborhood, their stories. So don't get me wrong. I'm not doing a channel about hoods or gangs or whatever. That's not none of my interest. But I am interested in people doing their story. And the reason why those people want to do their stories on this channel is because he's very big. You know, he has hundreds of thousands of followers. People want to share their experiences. So yeah. So when my channel is grow growing, I'm very positive that more people want to do their story. So yeah, if there's one thing I really want to focus on on year two of my channel is stories. If that makes any sense whatsoever, but yeah, let me know. Because for example, I know I'm rumbling a little bit now, but I'm walking through a neighborhood and I'm walking past the school. Like, a school is just a school. But if I have someone with me that says, I used to go to school here, you know, my cousin Lenny, uh, he was one class above me, and we used to do this, we built a tree house here, it was fun, my aunt lived over there, you know. If you get stories like that, it's becoming more interesting, to me at least. So, let me know what you think, and um, work in progress. That's the thing with me. Once I stop talking, I can't stop. Once I start talking, I can't stop. Now I have to go to that side. So this is perfect. I made a circle. This is where I started my video as well. Right, let's quickly cross. I don't think I'm supposed to do this. Alrighty. Yes, I made it back to the subway. It's funny, before this video I was like, yesterday I spoke too much. Let's let's not talk too much today. I think I talked even more than yesterday. Alrighty. Thank you, folks, for watching today again here from Angby. And I uh, see you all tomorrow on a new adventure and a new walk. All right, bye-bye.